But all the time we have to go back, Mr. Speaker, and request for them to check, request for them if this can be paid. Some of those things you find that you have lost a patient, Mr. Speaker. So I will, I will request that we relook more before we bring back this in the House. Let us look at the best way and the sufferings Kenyans have had on referrals within our country mostly. And with those few remarks, Mr. Speaker, I wish to tell the promoter, let us look at it and do more research before we bring it back to the House. Thank you. Member for Kipipiri. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to say something on this bill, which, Honorable Speaker, when you listen to all of us who are speaking, somehow one may get uh, lost. Honorable Speaker, any bill, any motion, or any indication of any legislation, when it is being drafted, the drafter must be having some ideas to table. And as such, I want to believe the drafter of this amendment obviously had good intention. And what we should do is to look at this amendment in depth, other than uh, condemning it, and we find what is that good intention that they move ahead and build on it. Honorable Speaker, first, we have raw professionals in all CADA be it in legal, be it in the churches, we just recently had the Shakahola haulers, uh, be it a politician or every other avenue. And I think, or I feel, this is the sole reason why the mover of this bill was making this amendment to try to regulate, because time and again we have seen particularly doctors who own hospitals, who own pharmacies, do refer patients to their premises or their hospitals. And Honorable Speaker, when I look at this amendment and I read the Article 79, there are two different uh, issues. First, the Article 79, which is being amended, it is speaking of the National Government Department of Health shall develop policy guidelines for referral mechanism, a system of referral for practitioners of, let's underline there, of traditional ad alternative medicine. So, Honorable Speaker, when members say that this is already catered for, this regulation is already there, I oppose very strongly. Because this Article 79 is clearly saying the National Government Department of Health shall do these guidelines to practitioners of the traditional. So it is not provided for the practitioners on medical health. That is one. Two, Honorable Speaker, when we look at referrals, and I happen to have been a victim in one way or another, and Honorable Speaker, I wouldn't mind to say this on this floor, that one time I was expectant and I visited my gyno, and because he was having his business privately, and I was seeing him privately, and he was the head of Kiabu a District Hospital by then, which is one of the biggest referral today in Kiabu. He referred me under his, his, uh, his uh, care to Kiambu because I had a good insurance package. And when he took me to theater, the following morning he woke, he told me, I'm sorry, this scan, was not clear as we had expected. So we are just sorry. That time I had already gone through the theater. So I want us to take this matter very seriously, Honorable Speaker, as Honorable Members, who are here to protect the vulnerable Wanjikos, the vulnerable Ocheng, the vulnerable people in Kenya who cannot come to this house and seek or guide the government on how they should be taken care of. Maybe when we think of referrals, we are missing the point when we say that we are going to bring a bureaucracy. I do not think that is the intention at all. I think here we are first tasking the cabinet secretary. 
because the original Article 79 is speaking of national government, the Department of Health. That, is, to me, is vague. When we speak of cabinet secretary, he is solely responsible. Again, we are missing the point, Honorable Speaker, when we say we create bureaucracy when someone is dying and we need authority. I don't think that this amendment is speaking of authority to be given. I think it wants to regulate how referrals will be done. For instance, Honorable Speaker, even if we, were, we are not debating on, on uh, the cost, but we cannot avoid. If a patient in our Karao, who could have been referred to JM Hospital in our Karao, is referred maybe to MP Shah, where consultation fee is so huge, and the background of this patient cannot even uh, go to half of what the patient can uh, afford. I think these are the regulations that the drafter means. And again, if the cabinet secretary will make these uh, guidelines, these guidelines must come to the house. When they come to this house again, we shall redefine them, and we shall amend, we shall edit at the committee stage, and we shall make them what we want them to be. Honorable Speaker, on another event, I happened to be in India, and I found Kenyans being stranded because they were being referred to India for medical, and the invoices that were given while they were in Kenya, the cost was not going beyond 200,000. And the Kenyans were stranded there with bills of close to 6 million Kenya shillings, and the ambassador there in India was moving every morning to have a meeting with the management of the hospital to release our people. So I do not see any problem when this regulation can be even tasking our, our embassies outside to be even taking care of the patient who plan to travel for medical overseas. I think any regulation is free at will. And I don't think that if I can afford to go to India or abroad for medical, then I must pass to the embassy if I do not want. But overall, it should be indicated in black and white that it is the mandate of the embassy to take care of those who seek information. So over and above, Honorable Speaker, I would say we don't kill this amendment here. We analyze it. We enrich it only for the benefit of Wanjiko. With that, I oppose the report of the committee and I support this amendment and I hope the honorable members will be able to make even more fundamental amendments during the third reading. Thank you, honorable speaker. Member for Nyeri Town. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm a member of the health committee. And while I congratulate 